Hello everyone, today is January the 18th, 2018. This article taken from the Daily Caller. Wells Fargo flooded with complaints after payment glitch empties bank accounts. Several Wells Fargo customers flooded social media with complaints Wednesday after discovering a glitch caused the bank's online pay center to process multiple payments at one time. In some instances, customers' balance dropped to zero or in arrears, while some customers received email notices warning them that their accounts were zeroed out. Some people who had been on hold with customer service for hours Thursday morning were being told that the situation was being handled. We are aware of the online bill pay situation, which was caused by an internal processing error. Wells Fargo Communications Manager Hillary O'Byrne said in a statement late Wednesday, any fees or charges incurred because of the error will be taken care of, he added, before apologizing for the mistake. O'Byrne did not elaborate on how many accounts were affected. Many customers hurried to Twitter to vent and warn others about the glitch, not to mention several hour wait, the several hour wait to fix the problem. Okay. Wednesday's error was not the first time Wells Fargo has been criticized for problems related to its payment method. The Customer Financial Protection Bureau fined the bank $185 million in 2016 for issuing hundreds of thousands of credit cards to customers without their knowledge and opening more than a million bank accounts without their consent. The CFPB slapped the bank with a fine, the largest that has ever levied, after finding these practices were rampant throughout Wells Fargo since 2011. Wells Fargo employees issued 565,000 lines of credit and opened 1.5 million bank accounts for customers without their consent and sometimes created false email addresses to sign them up for banking services in order to pay to pad their numbers. Some 14,000 of those credit accounts accrued over 400,000 in fees, reports CNN Money, and the bank has promised to pay more than 2 million back in fees to customers who were fraudulently charge, charged. Well, I don't use Wells Fargo. I think they're a corrupt bank. I think they have way more money out there that's owed to him than to owe to them than they actually have in assets. I think that people who use this bank are asking for trouble. My advice, keep your money out of the banks. Just take out what you need to pay your bills and keep the rest as cash on hand or hide it somewhere in another account that you have access to. These banks are going down. These banks are corrupt and they are only looking to steal your money. Have a great day.